Jamaica. I support uh, Recondev fully in trying to keep control of the situation with respect to lands that they administrate. And there is a process that, has, that is established for applying for lands with Recondev, and that process cannot be jumped by squatting. From a point of view of vigilance in terms of ensuring that these types of things do not happen, obviously the lady says she's been there for at least 12, 13 years. It, it seems that there is no vigilance to ensure that there is not this type of activity taking place. Let me first of all clarify what has been uh, an inaccuracy um, spread by the, not just the lady but by also the political operatives in the area. Anyone I, that, that, that wants to take a look at Google Maps can do so. And the maps that I have been shown shows that there, that particular structure did not appear before 2014 to 2015. And you can confirm that by consulting with um, Google. Since that time, Recondev has been uh, trying to get this family, this lady, to come in to discuss the issue. And she has quite uh, blankly refused to come in. She has not come in to speak with Recondev. And instead, she has sent a letter from a lawyer threatening the owner of the property Recondev with a lawsuit if they were to come on to their own property. And so uh, I, I believe, though, as has been said in the uh, release by Recondev, the, the, the lady and her family um, are being misled by political operatives for their own opportunistic uh, purposes. Um, she does not, in my view and in the view of Recondev, have any claims to the land. And so... Um, that's, that's the end of it. She, the, the, the squatting will not be tolerated in Belmapan. So what will be the next move by Recondev? I believe that Recondev is pursuing uh, avenues, legal avenues, to try to get an order for her to leave the property. So they haven't yet gotten a court order as far as you're aware? I have not been updated, but I know as of Monday they have tried. So do you agree that part of the problem is that whenever there are squatters, that politicians from both parties, uh, whoever is in, they tolerate the squatters because they get votes from them and then when the time comes to move them, then it becomes a big problem. Let me state categorically on behalf of John Saldiva, I have never made a promise to a squatter to stay on a particular piece of land in Belmopan when they do not have any proper claims to those lands. I know that in the past, when we have attempted to survey and subdivide uh, portions of lands, when we have found people in the subdivision, in the area to be subdivided, we have called them in and we have sat and we have spoken with them with respect to their perhaps traditional uh, claims, depending on how long they have been there. But in an area that is already surveyed, that uh, people then begin to squat, no, we do not uh, tolerate them to, to come in and squat.